गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल द लिसनर्स ऑन रेडियो आकाशवाणी 106.5 एफएम स्टेरियो एंड दोज हु आर लिसनिंग टू अस वाया स्ट्रीमिंग ऑन रेडियो आकाशवाणी डॉट को डॉट टी टी एंड ऑल दोज व्यूअर्स वॉच दिस प्रोग्राम एट देयर कन्वीनियंस ऑन ताउशो बुद्धाज यूट्यूब डॉट कॉम चैनल यू आर लिसनिंग टू योर फेवरेट रेडियो प्रोग्राम नो योर फूड a program to educate you about various items flowers the whole wheat flour surabi and lakshmi brand of coconut oil himalayan rock salt buckwheat and many other products and also we are coming to you with the compliments of deep foods khao to jaan something that you know only when you taste a complete range of deep foods for those who want it for snacks those who wants for main course meals those who wants as appetizers or side dish or the at the end the ice cream the indian style of kulfi all these products are available in a store supermarket near you for all wholesale inquiries you can call me at 6838587 or 6838587 tausho buddha or 7479770 anand this morning i will speak to you as usual just to remind you something about the coconut oil the benefits of it and the gluten free flour and also when it comes to our spices i will speak to you about fennel or aniseed and its use in culinary the research on the coconut oils shows and according to dr joseph marcola certainly you have noticed that for the past 60 years the majority of the healthcare officials and media have been telling you that saturated fats are bad for your health and lead to host of negative consequences including high cholesterol obesity heart disease and alzheimer's disease this is what has been propagated by the business meanwhile during the same 60 years the american level of heart disease obesity elevated serum cholesterol and alzheimers have skyrocketed did you know that multiple studies on pacific island population who would get 30 to 60% of their total caloric intake from fully saturated coconut oil have all shown nearly non existent rate of cardio vascular disease coconut oil is naturally hydrogenated naturally hydrogenated means it has the tendency to get solidified when temperature goes below a certain degree hydrogenation manipulates the vegetables and seed oil by adding hydrogen atoms while heating the oil producing a rancid thickened substance that really only benefits processed food shelf life and corporate profits just about all the experts now agree hydrogenation does nothing good for you so what happens first the oil the seed oil or the vegetable oil is heated and then a substance is added producing a rancid thickened substance that does not benefit you as far as your health is concerned it benefits only the corporate profits so all these people they doesn't seem to be interested in your health it is in your hands you have to decide what you want to do and if you are aware when you go to the supermarket you look for a product which is beneficial to you now one of the thing that goes on very easily it is said the this particular product is low calories 
low fat low fat is one thing and calorie is another thing when you say milk the yogurt made from the low fat is low fat yogurt but it is added extra quantity of sugar so it is low fat but high in calories and sugar changes the insulin level in the blood this is poison you have to regulate the use of sugar as and when necessary so those people who say that i am dieting and i am taking yogurt if you are taking yogurt is very good but what kind of yogurt you are taking this is one of the teachings of bhagavad gita that you become aware aware of everything this is what the most important sutra when it says tadatmanam sujamiham what are you creating the situation has come for you to choose this product or that product that is the time you can move either in, in either of the direction the right direction or the wrong direction if you are guided by those in, information on the product which is there to misguide you then you are moving in the wrong direction that time if you are a witness i am not eating that product doesn't matter to me doesn't matter what people say about me i refuse to eat the uh, temple food because it is unhygienic to me and it is unhealthy for me whether it is prasad or anything it does not matter to me my body is the temple and so is yours you have to learn to respect it if you do not respect your car and when you run out of the gas and you have brake fluid and you have the radiator fluid would you add radiator fluid to your gas tank or you will add to your engine it will splutter but this mechanism is not in the body it takes a long time for your heart arteries to get clogged you can get your engine refurbished for a small amount but your heart refurbishment cannot be done for a small sum of money there you have to be aware you have to be a witness whether to choose this or that and it is said that you should stop completely if not then reduce the use of trans fats these manipulated saturated fats are also known as trans fat one of the manufacturer of the trans fat he says listen to this hypocrisy that for every dollar sold 15% goes for the heart patients first you are giving them the disease and then out of their 1 dollar you are giving them 15 cents as your contribution for heart patients do you like this kind of approach choice is yours i want you to be aware and understand there is a lot of material available on my tausho buddha food network channel where you can listen to the videos the information by the experts and my own information so it's a choice is yours use coconut oil and himalayan rock salt which clears your heart arteries and does not create any blood pressure does not consume the fluid from your cells normally every 1% of the salt that you consume the normal sea salt it takes 23 times of the fluid from your cells so dehydration is there rock salt does not consume any so uh, fluid from your cells so it maintains the health maintains the cardiovascular health and for your sake i have tried to bring himalayan rock salt 95% himalayan rock salt and 5% cayenne pepper cayenne pepper also helps in clearing the heart arteries so two things together a double bond and this is the salt that i use for my daily consumption now coconut oil you can use orally because good quality fat is very natural just as if you do not smear oil under your car what happens there your car produces its own kind of music while driving and if you like that then choice is yours to allow your body to squeak in the same way as the car squeaks when the oil is not smeared underneath otherwise you can consume orally 15 milliliters of 
कोकोनट ऑयल पर डे दिस इज रिकमेंडेड डोज रिकमेंडेड डोज बिकॉज the when you say that you are using a certain amount of oil in cooking then how many servings are there so what is the per capita use of the oil that you are getting for my own sake i am taking 15 mg of coconut oil every morning before my breakfast this is about the coconut oil himalayan rock salt now i will speak a little bit about the qualities of gluten free flour which is known as buck buckwheat in hindi is known as kutu flour very important flour it is extremely high in protein and is a wonderful substitute for those who are allergic to gluten so they should use buckwheat and along with that we have some other flours also we have sorghum which is jowar flour millet which is another flour and ragi is another variety of millet all these flours are available for your consumption and available in the supermarkets near you buckwheat contains a phytonutrient called lutein which is also known to lower the cholesterol and blood pressure it is good for heart and rich in magnesium which is responsible for maintaining healthy heart it is a super source of fiber rich in vitamin b iron calcium and phosphorus it is 75% complex carbohydrates so complex carbohydrate means it is not an empty food like when you take the potato it is an empty calories empty carbohydrate complex means it is time release it does not release the energy immediately buckwheat is part of many weight loss diets in the west in india it is used during fasting period and there are many preparations which are used during the fasting period of navratri and other occasions although the caloric value of buckwheat flour and the whole wheat flour is same 100 grams each of these flours contains 330 calories that you get from this these are the two very important flours and also i and recommend the stone grind whole wheat flour where the wheat germ wheat bran is there nothing is removed from the flour no bleaching is done to get the skin removed and it is naturally good and it does not require baking powder for the rotis to swell you need the flour with water according to your consistency and make the roti as you desire roti paratha basapshat anything that you want to make and it is naturally good we have two brands available swarna and deep and swarna is available in three sizes 4 pounds 10 pounds and 20 pounds deep is available in 10 pounds and 20 pounds now i will speak to you a little bit about the spice the spice and the herbs these are the two words which are very much used you get the fresh herbs the herb is the leafy part of the plant the leafy part of the plant is known as herb it can be used fresh as well as dry and the spice is the flower seed as well as the root part of for instance turmeric is the root part ginger is the root the coriander seeds it is the seed as well as the leaves are used so when we use the spice and the herbs we use the blend of the two today i will speak to you a few things about a spice called fennel seeds or in hindi it is called sauf and another english name is aniseed it is very important it has many nutritional values and it is an important because what happens each spice has certain qualities which offset the negative effect of the food that you are using it for instance fish shrimps meats all these items must have fennel seed as an important 
spice in it. So when the spice you take, whether it is a fish curry masala, whether it is prawn and shrimps, or meat masala, which is duck and lamb, or chicken, chicken masala, these have all these ingredients. It is a highly aromatic and flavorful herb with culinary and medicinal uses and it is one of the principal ingredients that is used in many things. Fennel is used as a food plant by many. It is used in the Middle East and many other culinary delights. Fennel has become naturalized along roadside and often open sites in many regions including Northern Europe, United States, Southern Canada and much of the Asia and Australia. Propagates well by seed. It is considered an invasive species, spices and its seed as well as the leaves are used in many culinary delights. A star and the seed forms an important part of Chinese cuisines. I was told by some of the Chinese chefs when they are cooking rice, they put any seed into it, a star and a seed into it. And when you are cooking the stuffed vegetables, for instance, a stuffed curry, a stuffed cabbage, or a stuffed eggplant, we use a spice which includes fennel seed into it. Whenever I am cooking curry, I have to put the fennel seeds into it along with the other spices. In many cultures in Indian subcontinent and Middle East, they use fennel seeds in their cookery. It is an essential ingredient of Bengali, Odisha, spices as well as culinary delights. Many egg, fish and other dishes use dried fennel leaves and fennel seeds. It combats the negative effects of that. Now let me come back to you about one of the most important part of the program is deep foods. Deep frozen foods, you see the advertisement on your Z network, deep foods, khao to janu. A wide range of products are available in the supermarkets. Listen to this carefully because the question for this morning is embedded in the program and now what I am going to say. We bring a wide range of samosas, cocktail samosa, peas and potato, spinach and paneer, mixed vegetable, chicken samosa and chili paneer samosa, garlic naan, plain naan, aloo paratha, paneer paratha. Then we have some special dishes like dhokla which is a Gujarati dish. Puran puli, it is a kind of a roti, something resembles our local dal puri roti, but instead of using the split peas dal, along with that chana dal is also used and it is lightly sweetened with jaggery. Instead of using it, the salty, it is lightly sweetened and it is served, smeared with ghee on it. Then we have the Indian version of ice cream. There is a difference in ice cream and kulfi. Ice cream has air embedded into it and kulfi does not have the air. It is compact. It tastes totally different and what we get in our restaurants is not the, it's in the name, form and shape looks like kulfi but it is really not kulfi. We have it in three flavors. Malai Faluda. Faluda is kind of a noodles which is made out of ararot, mango flavor and tutti fruity flavor. These are available in a store near you, in high low food stores. Certain branches have their stocks, Cascade, Marawal and the other branches will have it soon. You can check MS Food City in South in Debe. 
सिक्स फोर सेवन सेवन नाइन नाइन थ्री एवरी सिंगल आइटम दैट वी इम्पोर्ट यू विल गेट एट प्रेम सिंह पूजा भवन इन क्यूरे सिक्स सिक्स थ्री सिक्स जीरो एट फोर इन बाउंड्री रोड एट बेटर डील आरंगवेज कॉस्ट प्राइस एंड मेनी अदर सुपर मार्केट्स नेशन वाइड वेजिटेबल समोसा इज करेक्ट इन अ सेंस बट इट इज एक्चुअली मिक्स वेजिटेबल समोसा मिक्स वेजिटेबल एंड चिकन समोसा दज करेक्ट एंड ऑल्सो वी हैव दीज एंड पोटेटो समोसा स्पिनेच एंड पनीर समोसा एंड चिली पनीर समोसा पोटेटो इज ऑल्सो वेजिटेबल बट वी हैव टू स्पेसिफाई वेदर इट इज पोटेटो you have been listening to the program know your foods a program to educate you about various ingredients like stone grind whole wheat flour basmati rice himalayan rock salt coconut oil shri gun blend of spices and all that you need to know for a balanced and healthy living we are coming to you with the compliments of taushu buddha food network suppliers of swarna and deep stone grind stone whole wheat flour deep basmati rice and deep frozen foods remember food is our fuel just as a gas dependent car splutters and comes to a stop if we put cooking oil into the gas tank instead of premium gasoline our bodies gets blocked and diseased if the food is not of the optimum quality so you have to remember to use the right kind of food right kind and eat the food at the right time and this is very important and this is essential and corner stone of your health know your foods is very important whatever you consume you must know and that is where the message of the masters comes in that you be a witness to what it is going into your body what is going on into your mind you are a witness to all that this is where krishna said tadatmanam srijamme ham i create myself i create the witness in me so that i can continue to elongate my life you have been listening to this program know your foods and make sure you go to the supermarket near by you and choose the right item the spices the biryani pulao masala lakshmi coconut oil surabhi coconut oil and many more things and for all wholesale inquiries you can give me a call 6838587 or 7479770 anand i repeat the numbers once again 6838587 taushu buddha and 7479770 anand thank you for being with me this morning with your program know your foods keep your dial locked on to where it is for continued programming on akashwani 106.5 fm and thank you very much you've been listening to know your foods a presentation of taushu godha